Hello friends, uh, thank you for uh, visiting my channel again. Uh, this is your friend Amudan Shaktivel and today we'll see how we can, uh, you know, either you have your extent reports, uh, your, your existing framework in extent, extent reports 4 or 3 and you want to migrate to 5 or you want to use some XML configuration or JSON file that make your job easy. So, so we'll see that how we can use the uh, extent configuration files to do the setup part. So, so in last video, we have already seen like, I know we wrote these three lines of code to, to change the default theme to dark and to set the document title and the report name. But if you don't want to write these three lines of code, instead you want to, you know, give the control to a file. So, so, you know, to an external file, suppose for some reasons your manual testers want to change the document title, that, you know, before running your test or for some, some strange reasons or, you know, uh, it doesn't matter. But if you want to, you know, use a configuration file instead of this and you want to move the control to an external file, then in that case, extent reports uh, guys have also given an option for that. Go to their, go to their official website, like we already see that and if you notice uh, they have a xml a spark config dot xml file so this is the code they have used and most importantly from the even in the previous version they have this xml file but they have introduced this json file which is much faster than your xml files we all know so if you want to also use their json file you can do that as well so first we'll see how to how we can use this uh, xml file for this uh, configuration then we also see how to how we can use this json file so let's just open this in a new tab and it will take the, take us to their github repo good if you notice uh, there is a spark config xml file you can copy all the contents or you can download the files for, for time being i just copy the content and go to my workspace okay I'll create a new you know, file, maybe new file, and the name of the file going to be say extend config dot extend config dot xml file. Okay, this is an xml file, right? So good. So I don't want to view in this way. So let me open it with text editor so that I can directly copy paste this, right? And then save the file. Good. If you notice, uh, we are trying to remove all these three, three, three lines of code. So the same will be available in this extern config file. So if you notice the theme, the theme value is standard for now. I want dark theme to be the default one. So you don't have to touch any of these. If you want, you can change them. And uh, you know, you also can change the document title if you want. So previously we have the automation framework, automation report or whatever you want right if you want to change the title so report name is build one maybe our sandy sweet results okay you can have it like what the way you want and if you want to change the type you know timestamp uh, format in the, how it want, how you want to display in the report you can do that as well but for now we'll just change these three values and we'll try to use that in our code let me go to the class file that i have and if you notice we don't need these three lines of code anymore so before that, let me copy the values. Okay, copy this lines of code they have and then come to my workspace, paste it here. As I already told, we don't need these three lines of code and I have commented them. So let me import the files from Java IO. And since we have already have this, we don't need this anymore. Okay, so let's do let me remove that okay and you also notice it will throw some exceptions that's okay you can throw them in. it's not a problem so now if you notice um, it's again uh, the file we are you know the extent configuration file uh, what they uh, they have given is the, the you need to create a folder called config and then you need to create a xml file but in our case we have created a file called extend config in our root folder so you don't have to use this Instead, you can keep extend config.xml for simplicity reasons. And in, you know, we are loading that particular uh, uh, load XML config using this particular method. We are you know passing this particular XML file. So extend reports will understand they need to use this particular configuration file to do the initial setup for your reports. 
good Th there is no change in any of these cases so let's again run this okay run us and testing this I think the test got completed. Let me refresh it and let me open the reports. Hope you all can see the reports. The same reports, uh, you know, is generated, but this time we have we have used the configuration file. The same way, we'll see how we can use the JSON file. Okay, so let me create again quickly another file. Let me name it as extend config .json file. Okay, in the root folder and click on finish let me again go to the to their report and use config.json let's get the json uh, you know structure from their repo this is the json file we are looking for just copy this come to your workspace and paste it here okay again the same way you can change the document title this time I want to keep the standard theme. There is no change. I don't want to change any of these. And the report name is again, you can have it as smoke test results or whatever. Okay. And that's all. And uh, this time, okay, if you want to use this, you can again go to their you know website, see the code they have written. Okay, just copy this, come to your workspace. This is for if you want to use as an XML. Just let me comment this now and just let me paste this away. Okay, since we already have declared this, we don't need this. The path of the configuration file is not this. Instead, it's located in my root directory. So I can tell JSON, extend config or JSON. So it's located in my root directory, right? So there is no change in any of those other steps, okay? Just right click and click on run as test ng test. Okay, I think it's got created. Let me refresh this and okay. I think it has created a new folders for me. It's okay. But all I am interested in index.html file. That's again got created. See the title that you have given smoke test result and the automation re report as the title. So everything else remains the same. There is no change with your report generation. There is also one more cool thing that you can do. See, we are creating, you know, opening the report manually, right? If you want to create open the report automatically after the test execution, just use you know a desktop class uh, from your Java AWT and then there is a file, you know, browse method. Okay, here you can give the report path. Okay, my report is located in my, you know, my root folder, right? So what I can tell, okay, guys, new file. And the path of the file is index.html. I want to open this file, but this browse method will accept the URI guys. It will not accept the file. So just till to URI. Okay. So what it will do, this will open. This will open the file in the desktop default browser. In my case, it is it is Chrome. In your case, it can be Internet Explorer. So you can I can check that. If you want to open it in uh, you know Chrome, just change the default browser to Chrome. Now let's right click, run as and test ng test. This time it should open the report automatically. Okay, so it opened it automatically. See if you notice, I have two monitors, so you might not seen it, but it has opened it automatically, right? Good. So everything works fine, and this time I don't have to go and open it manually. Let's, let's connect in the next video. Uh, hope you all have a good day. Bye. Take care.